Hello and welcome. There's something about poverty that makes it almost impossible for people to focus on achieving their dreams. Think about it. How do you improve your talent if you don't even know where your next meal will come from? Well, a Limpopo woman understands this only too well. She takes poverty-stricken children off the streets and trains them to be professional boxers. With few resources, this rural academy has produced champs, some who've even represented South Africa at international level. He's described as the time bomb for good reason. A boxer with a devastating punch who never wants to hear a bell signaling the last round. <laughs> Philip Ndo wants to finish every match with a KO. I eat boxing, I sleep boxing, I talk boxing, I walk boxing, I dress boxing, I drive boxing. He's achieved a lot in his boxing career over the years. from representing his country in the Olympics to winning world championships. For many fighters who live in Tohoyando, where Philip comes from, it starts with this type of boxing known as Musangwe. A style that requires no boxing gloves at all. But sadly, lack of resources means many fighters who show great potential here never make it to the big time. Deborah Mukwebo and her family saw how desperately hungry children in the area were to succeed in boxing. They wanted to give these kids a chance. The Kubvi Boxing Club has been operating since 1980 producing world champs like Philip Ndo. Deborah's husband, Stephen, started the club, but he spends much of his time working in other parts of the country. And so it's left to his wife, Deborah, a mother of 11, to keep the club going. Boxing is a two Despite a lack of resources, Deborah is doing well. develop <laughs> I have been in the Nazi Champions in Inji since 2007, 2008, until now. The Nazi Champions can never win ever again. The club recruits fighters as young as seven, but it takes patience to keep them focused. We are going to go. We are chilling now. We are going to go. 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 Deborah herself is driven. And operating in a male dominated field doesn't intimidate her. And it certainly seems to run in the family. Deborah 
uh, my husband re ba funa boxing bad and na ba na ba go ba funa boxing apa no una ba na ba 11 three three girls and eight boys and and then about this boxer go ra ro ba ba chiku funa boxing and ba encourage re ne re ga se di changa ntheno re men una ba thu bona ba ba ku funa una ba thu bana ba ba ku ba ku bona re ba tama boxing Coop V Boxing Club has nurtured Philip Ndo's young talent despite the harsh conditions in which he lived. Like Philip, children here are beginning to believe they too can succeed. <laughs> Sawunga o di challenge na bangwa tu bangu mashango. Dumpu ene langa ndam sponsor dozo gai boy. Ka wom tambo boy. O di taku abona o o di manga uzuna ne boy. O di tamu wanga sa kamsi na di fuki sana ne falle aba e Filipia di suki sa on. Sometimes it's not about how the gyms look or where you come from. It's about focusing. I will say that to the young children that were training me in Vienna, there. humble yourself always. So it's not about training under the trees and ah, will I get there? Go there, go and grab what you want and get it. I've done that, I've done that, I'm still doing it. So dreams are very important. Don't dream low, dream higher. <laughs> it's a simple lesson. Any contribution, no matter how small it is, can go a long way in improving someone's life. Coming up. How is it possible for one man to create such a mean machine from scratch? <laughs>